at Downey Thunder Creations here in Millbridge, Maine. We're located along the Bull Coast, very close to the U.S.-Canadian border. I hope you enjoy the video that I'm presenting today, and if you do, I'd appreciate it if you'd please subscribe. Uh, like or dislike the video, please comment in the comment section and share it. I'd very much appreciate it. Today we're going to play with dollies. Not that kind of dolly. This kind of dolly. This is a two-wheel dolly. It's typically used for you know, in the shop for moving large sheet goods like plywood or doors or drywall, that sort of thing. And uh, you'll, you've probably seen many of these all over YouTube and on people's blogs and uh, everybody makes them. They're pretty simple, but what does uh, what makes this one so special? What makes it unique? Why is it the ultimate dolly? The reason is most dollies are put together as uh, just a one unit thing. They, they glue them and they screw them together. It's a dolly, works fine. But this one here doesn't use any glue or screws. I have wing nuts here and uh, I have a number of shims both inside and outside these guides here and uh, what that allows me to do is I can very quickly and easily disassemble this dolly and I can move these shims around either inside the guides or outside the guides to vary the, the width of the guides. So right now it's set up for a three quarter inch piece of plywood with just a little bit of extra room and if I want to I could take some of these out, uh, outer shims put them on the inside widen this here so if I had a one and three quarter inch wide exterior door I wanted to move around or I wanted to put a number of sheets of plywood on at one time I could easily do that so I just undo the wing nuts undo this axle nut or I could drill this uh, I, I could drill a hole put in a clevis pin to make it faster just take a wheel off one side uh, once the wing nuts are off I could slide this apart adjust the shims and easily put it back together in just a couple of minutes Stay tuned, I'm going to show you how I built it, and I'm going to demonstrate how this goes together. As always, a free set of plans are available in a PDF download if you want to build one yourself. And uh, the, I put them in both imperial and metric sizes. Thanks for watching. I'm trying a, a bolt that's it's a half inch bolt that's uh, eight and a half inches long I'm using half inch fender washers and I'm going to set this up so that I have shims in between the main pieces so I can use three quarter inch plywood so all the other shims will fit on the outside. Now if I wanted to use if I wanted to do a, a much wider piece maybe an exterior door which is one and three quarters of an inch or I had something wider then I could easily disassemble this take some of the shims from the outside add them to the inside reassemble it 
or I can make it uh, thinner. I can use thinner shims on the inside, take these thicker shims and put them on the outside. I can adapt this to whatever size material I want to move. So I'll start by taking a few shims. I've got a 3 8 shim, a couple of quarter inch shims, and I'll add that. And the bolts that keep the shims from spinning, to keep everything in line, are just a quarter 20 bolts, and these here happen to be four and a half inches long. And I just I have some washers. Just regular half inch flat washers. So now I can put this in. Now I can add my center pieces. And that's what will give me the width so I can use my three quarter inch plywood. You can see that. Oh, I forgot to add the wheel first. Take that out. These are uh, six inch hard wheels from Harbor Freight. They're only a few bucks a piece. I'll put another fender washer on the inside. Put this back. And that bolt. matter of adding these the rest of these shims so when you put them back on like this you'll never lose the shims you always have them you don't have to go looking for them in the shop they stay with the dolly okay and then I'll put on another fender washer wheel, one more fender washer, and I think later on I'll probably drill a hole so I can use a, a clevis pin or something to be fast. Right now I just have some nuts that I'll put on here. You don't want to put this tight so that it binds. You want it to be able to roll, so like that. And this is sticking out quite a bit, almost an inch. Uh, if I used an eye-lock nut on here, I could, instead of eight and a half inches, I could use a seven and a half inch bolt. And I have one, I could just change this out. And I'll put that together later. And now, I'll just take uh, these four and a half inch uh, bolts, quarter 20 bolts on the ends. I'll just take some wing nuts. Snug it up. And now I have a two wheel dolly, and when I go to put in a piece of, say, this is a three quarter inch ply, if I had a sheet, a full sheet, I wanted to move around, this will fit in there. And I didn't want to put it, I didn't want to snug it too tight. This way here, it goes in and out very easily. There's not much slop, so you can still control the dolly when you're rolling around. And like I said, if I had a wider piece, a thicker piece, a door or something, I can easily just disassemble this, change the shims, reassemble it. And the more you do it, it'll loosen up, it'll get a little easier coming apart and going together. But this makes a versatile dolly. Just the one dolly is fully adjustable and it's easy to make. You don't have to use any screws. You don't have to do any gluing. Uh, you just cut the main pieces, cut a few shims, uh, line up the, 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 uh, the holes to drill, just a couple of quarter inch holes. These here, they may not line up perfectly, so you want to make the holes a little bigger, about maybe five sixteenths. And your half inch hole, if you can enlarge that slightly, it just makes it easier to put this together in and out. 
but that's all there is to that and that makes a nice dolly and there'll be free plans available uh, if you look at the uh, video description uh, below the video there'll be a link to the download page and as always uh, there's no charge for the plans thank you for watching